They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It is your boy, the Squirrel. This is Milton Jones one-liners. I've had a few people, uh, I think Johan and Thomas and quite a few other people have all asked me if I wanted to do uh, or if I had dipped in yet to some Milton Jones, and I don't think I have. I think this is going to be completely new to me here. It's about 11 minutes of one-liners from Milton Jones. I love one-liner jokes. Uh, I love them because they're... um, you get that immediate punchline and immediate laugh. I love them because when they're good, you can remember a couple of them and you can pull them out here and there and make everybody else laugh with you. Uh, and um, if delivered properly, uh, it's a, it's a good side splitting. Uh, it's good side splitting uh, time. So, so it's time to dig into some Milton Jones one liners. I say we should get into this right now because we got 11 minutes worth of one liners to go. There we go. Let's start with joke number one. Relax, I know what I'm doing. Recently I did a show for the United Nations and I started off by saying, so where are you all from? (laughs) (laughs) To be honest, there wasn't much time for anything else. (laughs) As a child, I had a medical condition that meant I had to eat soil three times a day in order to survive. Lucky my older brother told me about it, really. He later died of massive head injuries. But then you are more likely to get injured if you've got a massive head. I used to think that sticks and stones could break my bones, but words could never hurt me until I fell into a printing press. (laughs) It's difficult to know sometimes whether you remember something or you remember the photograph of something. I think my earliest memory is of being in America, standing over an air vent and my skirt billowing up. Marilyn Monroe. (laughs) Lovely. When I was in America, I really got into the culture. I went into a shop and the guy said, have a nice day, and I didn't, so I sued him. (laughs) (laughs) That is the culture. (laughs) If there'd been a mix-up, my uncle could have ended up as an ex-president of the United States. He's an undertaker in the army, or Barack Obama. It's a bit of a stretch, but it's pretty good. So if you're being chased by a police dog, try not to go through a tunnel, then onto a little seesaw, then jump through a hoop of fire. <laughs> They're really good Because they that. train for that. <laughs> Don't go camping in the countryside. Have you noticed whenever the police find a body, it's always in a tent? Years ago, of course, I used to supply filofaxes for the Mafia. Yeah, I was involved in very organized crime. (laughs) I come from a family of police marksmen. I think that was reaction against my grandfather. He was a bank robber. He died quite recently, uh, surrounded by his family. My other grandfather, he was a peeping Tom. He used to drill holes in the floor and spy on the people in the flat below. But he died quite recently. But I like to think of him as up there somewhere. (laughs) Looking down on us. My other grandfather, He's a bit of a man for the ladies. Doesn't matter how clearly the gents are signposted. (laughs) My other grandfather. He can't do what he used to, bless him. You know, bomb the Japanese. (laughs) 
My other grandfather, <laughs> he would never ever throw anything away, but he died in the war holding on to a hand grenade. <laughs> My other grandfather, <laughs> there's nothing unusual about him. Don't know why I brought him up, really. <laughs> My other grandfather, when he died, we didn't even get the chance to say goodbye, which was all the more poignant because he drowned in a bowl of Cheerios. <laughs> My grandmother... <laughs> ...is confused. <laughs> My nephew, when he grows up, he wants to be an accountant, so... There he is. You obviously gave him some helium. <laughs> My nephew... When he grows up, he wants to be an accountant, so for his birthday, I bought him a great big bag of receipts. I said, listen, don't worry if you don't like them. I've kept all the presents. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have been skiing, but then, how would I? They said about me that I was too immature to be a father. But when I saw the first few seconds of my son's life, I thought to myself, <laughs> he's naked. <laughs> when my daughter was born, she had jaundice. So there she was, small, round, and yellow. We called her Melanie. <laughs> I'll tell you what's a dangerous insect. Is that hepatitis B? <laughs> I tell you what's a dangerous place to swim. Is that hepatitis C? <laughs> You know, when you're in a relationship, what's that like? <laughs> I'd like to finish with a prayer, the prayer Jesus taught us. Hang on a minute, some people are thinking, Jesus had a tortoise? <laughs> Went home for Christmas this year, couldn't get in the door. Too many granddads. <laughs> the callback. I like that. The callback joke. Back. Yeah. I'll leave you tonight with this. If you're being interrogated by the police, perhaps tonight, and they're recording the interview, just make sure that every so often you go, Ow. <laughs> all right well unfortunately that is the end uh i thought this was like 11 minutes long but at eight minutes it starts over again so i've run a couple of videos like this lately i think it's that whole 10 minute time everybody thinks like that magical number on youtube that got to be over 10 minutes you know um and uh really at the end of the day at 10 minutes you can run the the, the mid-roll ads that's like the big thing oh more money you know but uh that's not you know but I th i'm guessing that's why i don't know i'm not even sure but it's kind of weird either way um yeah i mean this guy was funny he was really funny uh i, I love it's kind of like a mix between like stephen wright and gary delaney because he has like that seriousness about him. he's just kind of like laying him out there and he's not like laughing along with him he's just kind of like you know presenting them as if he's not even sure if they're funny which is the makes them even better you know makes them even better so uh, Milton Jones, one-liners. That was good. I'm going to uh, be looking for some other stuff of his. Feel free to recommend some other uh, bits from uh, Milton Jones in the comments. Happy to check him out. 
any other people you think I should be watching, checking out, and uh, reacting to, let me know. I'm going to get out of here, and I hope you enjoyed this. I really, really hope you did. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll catch you guys soon, all right? Be good to each other. Scroll up.